All right, so here we are with another video about a tool that's really helpful in mapping that you might want to use. So today we're going to talk about Poetry. This is a bit of a weird one uh, that I haven't used a bunch, but when I've had to use it, oh man, has it ever been great. So this is for visualizing point clouds. So what's a point cloud? You'll often get this from clients who use drones. So drones basically use lasers to scan the environment beneath them and get a huge series of points that represent, say, elevation levels. Levels. And each point might actually be like a little bit of pixel information. It might contain a bit of color or even a small image or something like that. So what po and 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 a client will then provide that to you in a in a point cloud um, format, a point cloud file format. And it's huge. It's like a huge amount of data. You have no idea how to visualize it. You're not really sure what to do. So poetry is your visualization um, tool when it comes to this. So it's very, very controlled. That's one of the things about poetry that's not the best. Uh, when we go to look at examples, we'll see, oh, well, actually that was loading the same, but we'll see that, uh, let's find an example here. So if we just go to their basic example, we'll see here what a point cloud is. So poetry loads in, you can see it loads in at multiple resolutions as it continues to load. And there's all these tools in it. There's tools to sh um, do measurement. There's tools to clip parts. There's tools to change elements of the scene. You can add and remove pieces. You can add and remove annotations. You can filter things. It's just huge. There's so much available here. Um, so, you know, there's really no substitute when it comes to mapping point clouds. So we can see here, they're actually the different points. So that's what a point cloud is all about. So when zoomed out far enough, it creates a really great 3D environment. So one of the pains with poetry is that if you want to make this a really custom interface, you're going to have to get deep in here and really, really hack at the CSS and the JavaScript, because this isn't really a library that's made to just drop into something. It's kind of a whole application. So, but that being said, it really does outdo pretty much anything else when it comes to loading point clouds in the browser. So have that one's going to take a bit of luck. If you're having trouble and you'd like some document, uh, you'd like a video on how to use poetry, leave a comment and maybe I'll get to it, but good luck and rock out with poetry.